Hi everybody, buonasera a tutti, siamo in diretta dal museo Casa Enzo Ferrari per la preview di Energica, la prima moto elettrica italiana. Eh, per permettere a tutti quelli che ci seguono nel mondo di capire quello che diremo, la diretta proseguirà in inglese. Hi everybody, we are live from uh, Casa Enzo Ferrari Museum uh, for the preview of Energica, the first electric Italian street bike. Uh, we decided to uh, stay in this uh, uh, extraordinary location uh, due to the strict relation that CRP Group has with uh, uh, Energica Bike and with, uh, and with the, the motorsport industry and in particular with Ferrari. Uh, CRP Group has more than 40 years of experience alongside the main teams in Formula One and top level motorsports and, and that's why I decided to stay here. Um, but not only, Energica is strictly related to eCRP race bike that we started to develop uh, three years ago. eCRP won uh, the European Championship of Electric Motorbikes and uh, placed second in the World Championship. Last year at ECMA Milan, we show you the uh, first mock-up of electric Italian electric street bike. And now, just only after one year of development, we are going to show you the first running prototype. So I will ask to my colleagues Franco and Giampiero to uh, show you the bike now. So Giampiero Testoni, that is the chief engineer of the project, uh, will uh, start to explain you in uh, technical details uh, the project of Energica. Thank you, Livia, for introducing me. Good morning, everyone. Let's highlight some technical specs of the Energica bike, starting from the motor. It's a permanent magnet AC synchronous machine, oil cooled, capable of 100 kilowatt peak power and 160 newton meters of torque from zero to 6,000 RPM. I had a chance to drive it and trust me, it's a lot of fun. This motor together with an 11.7 kilowatt hour battery pack pushes Energica to a top speed of 220 kilometers uh, 120 kilometers per hour with a range of 150 kilometers at a fixed speed of 80 kilometers per hour. We will soon release the SAE range test procedures. Inside the battery pack, we have also a battery management system custom built that, is, that will look after the cells inside the battery pack, uh, both during charge and discharge of the bike. Moreover, a uh, full ride-by-wire system will, will be the interface between the bike and the rider. And it will also have an adaptive uh, system and moreover different maps that can be selected by the rider on the dashboard, on the menu dashboard through a button on the handlebar. Going to the um, dynamics of the bike, we have chosen a tubular trellis frame because of uh, its uh, stiffness and lightness. And at the same time, uh, it was easier for us in this uh, first uh, prototype stage 
to make any kind of uh, developments and adjustments to the bike. Being Italian, of course, we have chosen the, as many Italian suppliers as possible. In fact, in the front of the bike, we can find Marzocchi, uh, a Marzocchi full adjustable front fork, Brembo sporty uh, brakes, and on the top over here, we have uh, 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 LED lights, full LED lights for the bike. So all, all the lights on the bike are LED lights from ECIE, another Italian company. And Domino Group for handlebars, switches, throttle, and, and some other electronics and electrics on the bike. While at the rear, we have uh, a fully adjustable uh, rear monoshock absorber from ZF Sachs. And last but not least, the seats are manufactured by Schedoni, a famous Italian firm in leather interiors for prestigious cars such as Ferrari and Pagani. We have chosen the best and it's made in Italy. Thank you. So Energica is uh, definitely a pioneer motorbike, but not only for the um, electric powertrain, but also for the technologies that we chose uh, for this first uh, running prototype. Uh, Engineer Franco Cevolini, the CEO and the technical director of CRP Group, will explain you in better in details the technologies that we chose, and uh, in particular the 3D printing technology and the cutting edge CNC machining. Thank you, Olivia. Good morning. Uh, due to the lack of time, we decided to use uh, uh, two technologies that are uh, well known in uh, motorsports and uh, in Formula One especially. And uh, these technologies are 3D printing and CNC machining from Soling. Uh, about the 3D printing, we use uh, this uh, with the Windform XT 2.0 material that is uh, an high performing uh, uh, polyamide reinforced with the carbon fiber. With this material, we made uh, the whole uh, fairing the front uh, mudguard and the rear mudguard as well as uh, some uh, other uh, support around the bike. The most important is uh, the main support that uh, holds uh, the dashboard, the two front fixing points uh, of the fairing, the front part of the fairing, and the and the two mirrors, all these uh, just uh, with the one piece. Then we use uh, also another uh, high performing material, the wind from SP, that is uh, a material again uh, uh, filled with carbon fiber, and we use uh, this material for the two um, seats, uh, the plate seats that uh, are uh, very are high loaded parts that they have a stand vibration and bumps and with this material we have an improved toughness and impact resistance. Now talking about the metal parts that we realized, uh, we made the, using the CNC from solid with a special aluminum alloy, the motor housing and the gearbox main case with its side plate and inside uh, the motor housing and the gearbox, uh, we made from a solid uh, the drive shafts and the gears uh, using a uh, high strength stainless steel, again, used uh, uh, material used in Formula One. And we decided to do this because uh, with this electric motor, we have a very high torque, and so we need a very strong material. Um, it's important to underline that uh, all these technologies are present inside the uh, CRP group, and so for us it has been quite easy to, to use them without uh, any problem. We decided to use uh, this technology also because uh, this motorbike uh, is a prototype and uh, we need to run a lot of kilometers uh, to discover if they are some issues and to solve them. Thank you very much. So Energica is a reality 
and it's time to give you some commercial details. In particular, we aim to be on the market within 14, um, sorry, 2014, and uh, the price to public should be around 18,000 euros uh, with the first uh, equipment. Of course, we will uh, um, make anyway some kit to customize your bike as you prefer. Um, the, pr um, the, the key partners that we are already working with are Generali Insurance and Unicredit Bank and they will uh, uh, be alongside our uh, customers uh, all around the world in order to help them with some customized financial and insurance uh, products. And then I want also to tell you that uh, the Energica bike will be possible to be seen alive uh, in uh, ECMA in Milan next week from 13 to 18 of November. Uh, at our stand uh, that is in the whole uh, six uh, um, uh, stand C34 and uh, uh, I, wa I would like to thank all the partners that will be with us. Uh, first of all, Adcom that will help us with iFi equipment and then Panasonic together with, uh, we will do some games in order to better uh, help you to hear and to see uh, Energica in action and uh, uh, who will play with us at the stand uh, will win also some gadgets so we will be waiting for you at our uh, booth. And then uh, let me speak also about Sofia Catinari uh, that is the uh, great uh, architecture that uh, helped us with the, with the realization, with the concept of the booth, and also Nicole Castelli with the brand Ophelia that will uh, support us with the special, amazing uh, haute couture uh, Italian style uh, clothes for our uh, models. And, uh, and of course, grid, uh, grid, um, Grid Modena, of course, uh, that uh, is hosting us in this uh, really a special location. Um, let's start with, with questions. Uh, the press will have the possibility by chat to send us uh, some questions about the bike and we will reply you as soon as possible uh, within a couple of minutes. In the meantime, there is a rough cut of the commercial that we have done uh, last week um, and uh, um, you will see how an amazing testimonial we chose for you, it means that every Energica customer is a high flyer. So enjoy and I see you in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Shotgun place, living a down to saw your face, honey. <laughs> Shotgun place, living and dying to the side of your face. Honey.
Okay, we received uh, some questions, so we are here for you. The first one is, uh, uh, what is the range when used at sporty conditions? So what, what a customer can expect as a real range if used at sporty conditions? It depends, of course, on the riders, but oh, okay. Yes, riding normally the bike in sporty conditions, of course, it depends if on the road or on track, but in really sport conditions, the bike will manage at least 80 kilometers of range. Uh, the second question is uh, top speed and torque uh, going from zero to 100 uh, kilometers per hour. Okay, top speed by now is limited at 220 kilometers per hour uh, for choice because there's no need of going any faster to, to just for the consumption of the bike. And uh, acceleration, we still haven't done any real practical test, but it should be around 3.3 seconds to reach 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, we have uh, one more question. It's uh, the weight of the, of the bike. So the bike now in the prototype version is about 235 kilograms. It should reach around two, between 220 and 230 kilograms total. Okay, then there is another question. Uh, you spoke of the gearbox. Did you mean that there is a gearbox on the bike? You will have more gears? No, actually we, we have just a, one, a, a, single, a single gear just to reduce the speed, the system to reduce the speed of the, of the electric motor because uh, we have motors that reach uh, uh, 10,000 RPM. So we need to reduce uh, this number. Okay, then they ask uh, uh, again, why is the frame made of tubes instead of being in aluminum? Yeah, the first, the first mock-up was in aluminum, but we decided uh, to use the trellis tubular frame because of, of course, as I said before, stiffness and lightness. But uh, at the same time, it's easier for us in this first uh, uh, prototype uh, stage of development of the bike to make any kind of modification to the, all the molds and uh, to the frame directly. So it's, uh, it's something easier for, for us to make more development in less time. And why is the motor placed in that position? Uh, so the battery box has its big dimension, dimension of course, because it's 11.7 .7 kilowatt hour. And the motor that was not many places were to put, so we decided uh, after having done some calculation on the balance of the weight between the rear and the front to put it just a little higher but uh, as, as back as possible on the bike so to bring more weight to the rear of the bike and at the same time have more traction on the rear wheel. Okay, so because they asked also uh, what about the position of the rear mono absorber, so I, I guess it's more or less the same? Yes, it's almost the same. It's it's where we had some place and also it's uh, aesthetical, it's something that characterizes this bike. And what other changes can be done uh, to Energica in its development in the next months? What, what are you planning to do? Uh, of course we are going to do lots of tests on road and both on road and of course on dyno to test all those parts that have been uh, uh, quickly manufactured, as Franco was saying before, and we will also work uh, as soon as possible on the industrialization of the whole project. Then they ask me, I guess, uh, when is Energica ready to be purchased and what countries will be the first to have delivered the, um, uh, Energica? Well, uh, I told you uh, we aim to be on the market within 2014 and, and of course the first countries uh, uh, we aim to be uh, USA and Europe, north of Europe in particular, because these are the countries that now, today, are r ready for with charging infrastructure. But we hope that in in a couple of years uh, also south of Europe and, and other countries that are very friendly to green, uh, to green motorcycles uh, will be ready with the uh, infrastructures too. And uh, will it be possible to customize Energica? Yes, of course. We, we, we try to give something of the best brands in the market by now, but we will have a long list of uh, options that uh, that the customer can 
can choose both from aesthetical point of view and from the mechanical point of view. Okay. Wheels, suspensions, anything else? Uh, I, I guess they are also asking about the color. Uh, if we are planning to have different colors. Mm, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, because we Stay have. Tuned because we will have <laughs> yes. some aggressive. Some aggressive color. Painting, yes. Okay, so uh, I guess we are close to the finish of uh, this uh, live streaming. Uh, if you have uh, further questions, uh, write directly to our uh, press office manager that you know already. And um, for all the public, please uh, get in contact with us by Facebook or by email or Twitter or any other social contacts that you may have with us. And otherwise, we wait for you in uh, ECMA uh, next week in Milan from 13th to 18th of uh, November uh, to see your, your future bike, I hope, uh, live. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you.